What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. And guys, we are here on a Saturday night to talk about the new Vinegar Syndrome April announcements. And I am on Vinegar Syndrome's website right now. We're going to cover the new announcements for April. And then we are also going to cover the uh, partner label announcements as well, because apparently there were 16 of those today so yeah vinegar syndrome guys they know how to do it when they do new announcements it's like 20 or so like new things and they just did announcements a, a week or so ago with the uh halfway to black friday sale the showgirls on 4k so we got all kinds of stuff to get into hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't already we cover physical media on this channel guys we cover blu-rays and 4ks and all that kind of stuff and i have made the commitment this year guys to get more into vinegar syndrome and do these monthly announcements as they happen every month just to kind of cover them with you. And also, it kind of helps me uh, stay conscious and aware of what Vinegar Syndrome is doing. Because at, at times, guys, Vinegar Syndrome feels really like its own thing, like uh, separate from the arrows and the criterions and screen factories. Like it just feels like it's its own entity. So I like to cover it separately. But let's go ahead and uh, get into this website. All right, so guys, right away, oh my goodness, do you guys see that? Killer Clowns from Outer Space on 4K? I'm just joking, guys. It's April. April Fools, I'm sorry. I had to, but let's get into it. We don't have Killer Clowns, but we do have some interesting-looking titles to get into. Uh, let's start off with the... Uh, let's see, where, do I, where am I going to start off here, guys? I'm a little tired tonight. I just got off of work. I worked all day. And I'm going to go through these announcements. Let's start off with the starter pack, just so we can kind of get the broad overview of, of what... Uh, was announced in the Vinegar Syndrome main pack. Uh, we do have Vacation of Terror 1 and 2. So this is a two-movie pack right here. And we also have Five Women for the Killer. And we have Blue Lights, Curse of the Blue, Blue Lights, Curse of the Blue Lights. Sorry, guys. I feel like I've... Isn't there like a Kino Lorber release of, of Curse of the Blue Lights? It's something Blue Lights. I feel like Kino Lorber has a title that's like Blue Lights. Is it the same movie? Let me know in the comment section below. But this package, guys, $85.99 uh, for this complete package. So I have heard some good things about Vacation of Terror. It is possible I might pick up this double pack. Uh, but let's let's back up real quick and go through these individually. Uh, let's see. We have Curse of the Blue Lights, and this is $29.99. First off, there are no 4Ks in this slate, guys. In this announcement slate, there were no 4Ks. Uh, that were announced, maybe because they just announced three 4Ks like a week or so ago. Uh, so keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Uh, let's not be too hard on Vinegar Syndrome for not announcing any 4Ks this time around. This is some really cool packaging, though, right here. Kind of look through this, just making sure. All right, let me let me change my screen real quick because I just realized you all aren't going to be able to see it the way that I have it. All right, so here's the package. Curse of the Blue Lights. You can pre-order this, and all of these are going to be due out at the end of the month. Uh, you got some cool images right there. Curse of the Blue Lights. Yeah, I don't really know anything about this movie. This is I'm trying to see when this is from. Uh, 1988. This is 93 minutes. And it's directed by John Henry Johnson. The desolate town of Blue Lights, which gets its name from a mysterious nightly illumination close to, a, to the graveyard, is rumored to be cursed. The origin of both the lights and curse itself have been Left to legend, but rumor has it that ancient monsters roam the area and have been responsible for countless deaths and tragedies which have afflicted nearby residents. Okay, I mean, that sounds pretty cool. Again, let me know in the comment section. I don't know a lot about these movies, guys, and they do include trailers on some of these. Here's a trailer from YouTube. I'm not going to play that, um, but they do include trailers, so that's always cool. But let me know if the, any of these are like hidden gems that, that should be on my radar uh, let me know in the comment section below because I do plan on picking up a couple of things. Now, I did get on here last night and I found a couple of titles that I wanted when they came out, but I didn't get them. And I went ahead and picked those up. So I already do have an order in right now for two titles. I don't know if they, they, it's going to be added into my April order. If I go and order some stuff tonight, I think it will. So I'll get all my stuff at the end of April, which is fine. I'm not in any hurry. Uh, to get the stuff in, but I just wanted the titles that I got last night. I'll kind of, I'll keep that up hidden until they actual, uh, actually come in the mail and I unbox them for you guys. Okay. So this is a uh, newly scanned, restored in 2k 
from its 16 millimeter answer prints, brand new commentary. So you get a brand new uh, commentary with co-writer director, John Henry Johnson, archival commentary track with John Henry Johnson, actor crew. Okay. So this does have an archival commentary, which means that it was released before somewhere. Don't know if it was Kino, but somewhere demons down in Pueblo, Pueblo, uh, remembering curse of the blue lights, a newly produced making up documentary featuring interviews but the cast, oh my God, a 97, a 97 minute documentary, guys. Look, I know these movies may not be the best movies ever made. In fact, I know they're probably not the best movies ever made. But the fact that you can release a movie, you know, and, and from what I saw, I mean, $29.99, um, it's not a bad price. Great artwork, great packaging. I'm sure the transfer is going to going to look really good. Uh, it probably as good as it can. And a new documentary, you basically got two movies in this set, which I think is just freaking spectacular. So Curse of the Blue Lights, let me know if you guys know anything about that one. And let me backtrack here, get into the new one. So I believe that this is some type of Giallo film, uh, Five Women for the Killer. You can always tell what a Giallo film is just by looking at the cover of something and, and the title always gives it away too. It's just, I don't know. It just, I can always tell what a Giallo film is based on the title. You get five women for the killer, and this is $29.99 as well, limited edition slipcover. Now, again, you can get it the standard edition, no slipcover, and you can knock $5 off of it. If the slipcover doesn't, if the piece of cardboard doesn't matter to you guys, you can always change that. And I imagine the, the blue light movie was the same as well. All right, so like the cover on this, it's, it's very simple, but it's also effective. And like I said, just very giallo. You can just tell something's a giallo when you look at the cover. Uh, cool image on the back. And then you got a couple of couple of shots from the movie. Now, I did read up on this one before I came in here. Uh, or not before I came in here, but before I went to film this. Uh, because I was actually kind of interested in this. I'm always interested in owning a new Giallo film in the collection. A lot of people said this was pretty mediocre for a Giallo film. That it wasn't bad. It was just kind of middle of the road uh, is what I read. So, I don't think I'll be picking this one up, but again, if it's, you know, that's all subjective guys. If it's, if you think it's great, let me know in the comment section, uh, below. And this is from 1974, hundred minutes. Um, you got Italian mono with English subtitles, newly scanned and restored in 4k from 35 millimeter archival positive brand new commentary track with film historians, uh, Eugenio, uh, er, Ercole, Ercolani, uh, and Troy Hayworth. My name is Howard. An interview with actor Renato Razzini, 20 minutes, the Massey touch, an interview with filmmaker Don, Don, Danilo, Donalo Massey, son and frequent collaborator of director Steve Massey, 25 minutes, working with Steve O, a portrait piece on Steve Massey, 13 minutes, five women for a giallo, director and film historian Luigi Kazi on five women and the killer in the evolution of the giallo film 22 minutes i mean god guys this is a, this is a ton of special features here what's this like five special features cinematographers and arms a portrait on stevio massey with friend and fellow director cinematographer roberto giri giro medi uh and that is 13 minutes gore inserts from re-edited version of five women for the killer reversible sleeve artwork and yeah all this stuff guys and again you have a a trailer down here if you guys want to play that. And I will link the Vinegar Syndrome website down below if you want easy access to it. All right, let's let's backtrack. And but yeah, I mean that's it looks pretty cool. I mean it's not something I'm gonna get tonight, but it looks pretty cool. All right, so let's get into Vacation of Terror one and two. So this with the slip cover is $29.99. Take that slip cover off and it goes down to $24. Uh, 99. So again, if you do, if you want to get all three of these, it is going to be cheaper for you to get that package option. All right. And let's look at the cover. Beautiful artwork on this. I'd say out of the three of these, this definitely has the best um, artwork for sure. And I don't know if this is like an alternative artwork or if it just has a front and a back. Maybe it just has a front and a back with both of the uh, films. Maybe that, maybe this is the first film. Maybe this is the second. Um, but yeah, don't know any, uh, too much about these films either. I'll kind of scroll down. Looming large over the landscape of Mexican cinema, no family names are bigger than Cardona and Galido. Both families traverse every genre and style, and sometimes their paths would cross. As they do here in Vacation of Terror series, Vinegar Syndrome is proud to present the worldwide Blu-ray debut, so this is a Blu-ray debut, of this terrifying 
double feature from two of Mexico's finest genre filmmakers of the 80s and 90s. Uh, newly scanned and restored in 4K. Experience the horror like never before. Okay, so this is, uh, yeah, two movies. So you have the first one and you have its sequel, I imagine. Uh, it's 167 minutes combined between the two movies. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, talk about getting some bang for your buck. One of these movies came out in 1988. The sequel came out in 1990. Uh, newly scanned and restored in 4K from its 35 uh, millimeter original camera negative uh, and a 35 millimeter archival positive. Video interview with Giala Hassel and Gabriel Hassel, actors in Vacation of Terror, 12 minutes. Video interview with composer of Vacation of Terror, 10 minutes. Backlot Rats uh, with Carlos East Jr. and Ernesto East, actors in Vacation of Terror, 19 minutes. Video interview with Jorge Farfan, uh, special effects artist, uh, artist of Vacation of Terror, 13 minutes. Reversible sleeve artwork, newly translated English subtitles. Okay, so you get two films in this one. I don't know. This one looks uh, pretty cool. Looks like you're going to get your money's worth with two movies. And I looked up some some scores for these two movies, and they seem pretty legit. They weren't bad. I heard some pretty good things about them, to be honest. So I might be getting that pack. But again, let me know your thoughts on on them in the uh, in the comments section. All right, so let's scroll down, and that's the Vinegar Syndrome proper package right there. And we also have the Cat Creeps, and this is a new VSL uh, edition. I believe the Vinegar Syndrome Labs is what they're calling them. I think they debuted at the beginning of the year, and it was that Flesh uh, flesh and Fantasy or Flesh for Fantasy that it debuted with, which I actually ordered. That was one of the titles I ordered. Um, and I this might be the second one. Let's see. Well, it says it's the third one. So this is the third one in the VSL line maybe they released two vsls back in at the beginning of the year this is the cat creeps and this is a movie from 1946 so that i believe this is kind of vinegar syndrome's classic line because i believe flesh and fantasy was uh, from the 40s or 50s as well uh so very cool that vinegar syndrome is diving into more obscure films not just from the 70s and 80s which is what they've been doing but back in the in the 40s and the 50s, because there's movies that came out then that uh, that, you know, nobody's even heard of that are obscure. Like there's been obscure movies in every decade since cinema began, not just the 70s and 80s. So it's really cool to me how Vinegar Syndrome is going back and not just saving the 70s and 80s, but also going back and saving the more classic films. I think that's super uh, admirable because you have to imagine this one's not going to sell the best. Um, you know, in comparison to, you know, a, a film from the 70s and 80s. And now a lot of people love the black and white stuff. I mean, I do, but not everybody does. Uh, so super cool. I, I like this. And there is uh, still over a thousand of these. So this is one that I am for sure going to get because I did get Flesh and Fantasy. And Vinegar Syndrome Labs is something I might want to start collecting every one for. I need to figure out the other one that I missed. But really awesome artwork on this one for sure. And then you had the... Well, that's the front and that's the back in its eyes, a murderer's secret, really cool back. And then you have some images from the film. So I wonder if this is like cat people, you have cat people and you have cat creeps. Uh, but this is $24.99 with the limited edition slipcover. You take off the slipcover, it's $22.99. So not a bad price at all for this one. And like I said, the artwork is just amazing. Now, this one is not included in your subscription. So if you have the subscription, this one will not be um included in that just so you know all right so yeah 1946 it is only 58 minutes region a blu-ray newly scanned and restored in 2k from its 35 millimeter duplicate negative brand new commentary track with film historians arthur kevin lyons and jonathan rigby feline frights author and critic kim newman discusses cats and classic core reversible sleeve so looks like it does have a new audio commentary and it has a new special feature, so it's not loaded with special features, but again, it's only $24.99. It's a little bit cheaper uh, than the regular Vinegar Syndrome uh, releases. So, yeah, this one looks pretty cool to me, so I will probably for sure be grabbing this one if I don't grab anything else. Now, let's get into the porn stuff, guys. I know you guys have been waiting on the porn. Now, they did announce what it looks to be a 
Picorama title, and this is Climax slash Wet Dreams. And I don't know how much of this stuff I can actually show, but here's the here's the front of this one, you know, and here's Wet Dreams. So yeah, if you guys are into that kind of stuff, see Vanilla Syndrome, they have something for everybody. They have they have seventies, eighties horror, sometimes nineties. They have classic horror from the forties, and they've got uh, some eighties porn. You know, so cool. All right, region free Blu-ray, uh, newly scanned and restored in 2K, a commentary track for co- Climax with producer. Oh, there's a commentary track. So if you want to, you know, listen to a commentary track, you know, while you're while you're watching naked people do their thing, you can do that. And there's an original theatrical trailer for Wet Dreams, reversal of our work, all that good stuff. So here's a trailer right here. Um, I am not going to play the trailer. I will not play the trailer, but that's it. Wet Dreams and Climax $27.99 uh, for the limited edition slipcover. Now, is this two films? I would imagine this is two films. Yeah, 164 uh, minutes combined. And it looks like they both came out in 1985, which is the year I was born. That's pretty cool. All right, I spent enough time on the porn. They also announced a bunch of new t-shirts. Um, looks to be like Medusa theme t-shirts. Here's a Medusa shirt right here. You know, if you guys are interested in vinegar syndrome shirts, $22 for a Medusa shirt. Um, you got a Medusa siren shirts for $22. You got a vinegar syndrome Medusa limited edition timed screen prints, uh, for $40. Well, that's pretty expensive. Um, I'm not really into the artwork as much. Here's another one. Medusa Siren is is $40 for the screen prints. And they also got the slipcover protectors. And I don't know if this, I guess this is a new thing for Vinegar Syndrome or they've always had them or these are just new ones, but it looks like they have slipcover protectors for all of their different types of additions. Vinegar Syndrome Archive, Ultra. So if you want to get some for your VSUs, they got them three bucks for the VSUs. Standard slip covers, two bucks. And then you got some other ones, uh, side loading cases and everything else. So if you want to better protect your collection, Vinegar Syndrome's got you guys. They got you. All right. And let me go back up here real quick and cover this because this is pretty interesting. So I don't know exactly what this is. Please support the Vinegar Syndrome Celluloid Recovery and Preservation uh, preservation society. So I saw the trailer. I think they posted it on Instagram and I imagine it's the same one right here where they were kind of framing what they do at vinegar syndrome, kind of the same way they do on like those like rescue animal commercials where they're like trying to rescue and save all of these lost films, which is really what they're doing. Uh, but just the way that they laid it out made it seem a lot more sappy and sentimental than it actually is. Obviously film reels are important, they're not the same as animals <laughs> in the same sense, but I get it. I get the sentiment. It was just kind of funny the way they laid it out there. And I imagine that was intentional. All right. So let's see. Neglected, abused, mistreated, abandoned. Each year, countless films are lost, never to find a loving home, never to find their forever audience. The Vinegar Syndrome Celluloid Recovery and Preservation Society is the world's foremost organization working to end and the cruel abuse of film elements in modern society. These films deserve better, but often receive the worst many times by those whom they trust the most. With your generous support, we are ready to reach new heights in film rescue operations. Thanks to you, we are able to rescue film in the moldiest abatements, the hottest backseats of cars, and travel to the most remote regions on the planet to find lost films. That's kind of awesome, though, when you think about it. Travel to the most remote regions of the planet. I imagine Vinegar Syndrome's traveling to these jungles like in in South America and traversing uh, mountains and and waterfalls and fighting anacondas to find this little shack in the middle of the jungle that has a film reel in it. it going on a real adventure. Is that what vinegar syndrome does? I mean, that's really cool. It really is. Uh, let's see. For being a supporter, you will be gifted with a small token of our gratitude, including but not limited to updates on elements you've had direct effort in saving. So they'll send you updates on, you know, the movies that you save uh, with your donation. Uh, With your help, we have more transformative victories. With your help, we protect films that can't protect themselves. 
Uh, let's see. Your special thank you gift will be delivered in late 2023 and is only available through this offer. It will not be included in any subscription or sold at any conventions or retail stores. Okay. So basically this is a donation of sorts. You're giving them $10 to just help them find more movies to, to restore. And in turn, they are going to send you a, some kind of special item that will be delivered by the end of 2023 and will be exclusive to the people that donated. So if you are a massive vinegar syndrome fan, have to have everything you're going to want to do this because I'm sure whatever it is, it's going to be super limited. Um, and they're not going, it's not going to be available anywhere else. They promise you that they promise you that. All right. So let's back out of that. And that's $10 for that, um, you know, donation. Let's get into the partner label stuff. Supposedly there's 16 of these things. Let me take a drink real quick, guys. So this is going to be way longer than I intended it to be. This is already 20 minutes long. Uh, but I have a good time going through all this stuff, kind of educating myself. All right. So the first one that we have is Bullets Over Summer. And this is from Connie. Um, and this is $25.49. Let me click on this. $27.99 with the slip cover. So I'm going to need to click on all these to get the accurate number. So there's only $13.86 of this left in stock. So again, I'm not familiar with this movie at all. So I'll, but I mean, it looks like it has some new special features and some cool stuff. All right. And from Utopia, we have The Civil Dead for $22.99 without the slipcover. And with the slipcover, it's $25.49. I wish they would put the price like on the actual screen, the main screen, and not just when you click on it, because that's so confusing sometimes to me. Uh, but The Civil Dead, limited edition slipcover. Uh, don't really know what this one's about. But it looks pretty cool. The artwork looks cool. Um, we also have from Factor 25, the Full Moon Trilogy. And let's see. I'm trying to see. If this, is this actually three films? Yes, this is three films. 214 minutes combined. Um, so this is a trilogy. And it is $27.99 for this trilogy. Don't know exactly. Is this some kind of like werewolf? I mean, going off of the back of that slip cover, this might be a porn too. <laughs> is this some kind of like werewolf porn trilogy? I mean, God bless. All right. Hey, you get a 28 page booklet. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's back out. Full Moon Trilogy. And we have from Circle Collective, The Great Basin which is $22.99 for that. And uh, show you the back of that slipcover. You got a nice train, $25.49 with the slipcover, $22.99 without the slipcover. What is that, a ram or a llama? What is that? All right. From Below the Earth to the Stars, The Great Basin is a documentary. Okay, so this is a documentary feature that builds a complex para- panorama of rural nevada in western united states okay so this is some kind of documentary so that's pretty cool and that is from circle collective and now we have yellow veil pictures releasing the hourglass sanatorium now i like the uh i like the artwork on this one this one looks pretty pretty freaking badass uh, this is not included in your subscription, but yeah, if you do have a subscription, all these will be, you know, marked down substantially. It's from 1973, uh, adapted from a selection of short stories from Polish Jewish writer Bruno Schultz, uh, Haas masterpiece, surrealist Polish cinema as a fan, phantasmagoric look at collective trauma of the Holocaust. Okay. So seems like a pretty, pretty cool movie. Now that guy looks familiar. Who is that? Some people in here that look familiar. All right, so that's the Hourglass Sanatorium from Yellowville Pictures. And yeah, I said we got 16, guys. Do we actually have 16? Yes, we do have 16 to go through. Let me go through a little bit quicker. 
We also have Justice Ninja Style for $27.99 from VHS Hit Fest. Looks pretty cool. A ninja movie with a big old snake. Blink and you die in the dark. All right. We also have from Dark Scar, Dark Star, I almost said Dark Scar, uh, Kratz. Give me work. Looks like some kind of a, a witchcraft movie. Satanic ritual type film. You know, they're definitely doing some kind of a, some kind of ritual out there. That's not good. It's not Christian. I know that for sure. All right. And yeah, this one doesn't look like it has hardly any special features. 114 minutes, 2549 for that one. Let's go ahead and back out. And the next one we have from the American genre film archive, Lady Street Fighter. And I feel like we have had a Lady Street Fighter before. She makes the bad guys bleed, written and produced by exploitation uh, Renee Harmon. Frozen Scream and directed by legendary James Bryan. Do not go in the woods. Lady Street Fighter's story of Linda Harmon, a tough as nails karate cop on the trail of a ruthless uh, scumbags who murdered her twin sister. Okay, seems pretty cool. 73 minutes. And it looks like you get quite a bit of special features in this one. I think the one I'm thinking of is Sister Street Fighter. I think that's an Arrow title. Uh, but this is from American Genre Film Archive for $27.99 with the slipcover and $25.49 without the slipcover. All right. Oh, accidentally backed out. Let me get back in there. All right. And next we have from Saturn's Core, Red Cockroaches. Okay. Limited edition slipcover $27.99. Standard slipcover is $25.49. All right. Saturn's core. All right. Don't know too much about this one. This looks like a super low budget movie. This is from 2003. Armed with a 2000 budget and Canon GL1 camcorder, visionary Cuban born director. Um, Memories of over uh, lensed this button pushing, men bending, mind bending, surrealist sci fi art house masterpiece, shooting solely on weekends over the course of two years in New York while attending the, St the Strasbourg Institute, the winner of over 20 film fits. Okay. So, this is a sci fi art house masterpiece from what they're saying. The making of red cockroaches. Is this one to check out? Set against the backdrop of futuristic New York, New York City, besieged by acid rain and populated with mutant insects and flying cars. All right. So this is one that sounds kind of interesting. I, I'm going to put this one. I don't know if I'm going to put this in the cart, but I'm going to put this one in the back of my mind. You know, I may check this out. Let me look at some of these images. From 2003. Flying cars and mutant insects. Seems like a winner. Also seems like it's super low budget. 514s left on that one. I know I haven't been going through, uh, you know, how many's left, but hopefully you guys have been paying attention to that. Uh, Something in the Dirt is coming out from XYZ Films. And cool slipcover on this one for sure. And you get the standard edition. And then you also get the slipcover for twenty five forty nine. You get a some. You get a Mike Flanagan Q and A. Okay, so this is uh, Justin Benson and Aaron Moorhead, and they're the directors that did The Endless, and I think Sin was it Sin Chronic was that the name of the one with the, uh, I think Anthony Mackie was in it, and uh, I gotta forget who else was in it, but it had a couple of well known actors. And I think that one came out a couple of years ago. I am not a huge fan. And also, was it the spring? I think they did as well. I'm not a huge fan of the endless. I'll be honest. I picked that up based on a lot of hype from everybody. And I might still have it in the collection. I think I still have it in the collection. I honestly might've got rid of it though. Cause I was not the biggest fan of that movie. Um, yeah, I just, I wasn't too high on it. It felt super low budget and I didn't think any of the acting was particularly good. I didn't really like the story all that much, but I know there's some super fans of that movie. 
So maybe it's just something I was missing. Um, but this is one from 2022. So this is a new film from them. So yeah, let me know if you've seen this. Interesting though, but I do know those directors. Something in the dirt. We also got from Canadian International Pictures. We got speaking parts. And you got the front, so you got the back of that. And that is $27.99 for the limited edition slipcover. Uh, 1989 film directed by Adam Ego Egoyan. Uh, so you get, damn, that's a lot of special features in this one. New audio commentary. A lot of good stuff in this release. Again, guys, if I'm if, if I'm sleeping on any of these, let me know in the comment section. Uh, Taming the Garden. This is from Big World Pictures. Limited edition slipcovers, $25.49. Nice looking slipcover there. Uh, this is from 2021, so this is a newer film. Not too many special features in this one, though. And we also get from Deaf Crocodile, Time of Roses. This is $27.99. And scrolling down, this is from 1969. So this is quite, this is an older film. Uh, and this is from a Finnish director. So very cool. Very cool. Time of Roses. And let's see. We got from ETR Media, who just released that fire golden eye uh golden era set vinyl nation okay so they're tackling the vinyl in this one so it could be some kind of vinyl documentary so this is probably one of the cheaper ones 2049 for the regular and then for the slip it's 2299 really awesome slip cover though really awesome slip cover they're they're the king of slip covers at this point etr media that's an awesome one and so was that golden era All right, so this is some kind of, I guess, vinyl documentary of, of sorts from 2020. So that is cool. All right, we only got a few more, guys. We got The Wounded Man from Altered Innocence. This is $26.99. And new 4K restoration. And this is a, a French film, it looks like. Um, from 1983, 110 minutes. So let me know if this one is a good one. $26.99 for the limited edition slipcover. Nice looking slipcover. I like the yellows. And let's, uh, how many more do we got? We're getting through it. We got uh, the Zodiac Killer. We got the Zodiac Killer. Limited edition slipcover is $27.99. But with this one, you can also get a candle and a postcard for $42.99. This is from the American Genre Film Archive. Or you can get the standard edition for $25.49. All right, so this is the only horror movie in history that was made explicitly to catch a serial killer. Okay, so I guess this one was made to catch the Zodiac Killer. This is from 1971, 86 Minutes. Instead, we get the the Zodiac Killer reimagines the crimes of the then active Zodiac Killer in hopes of luring the madman out of hiding. The plan didn't work. Instead, we got the most outrageous and compelling uh, tabloid horror vortex on the planet and beyond. Okay, that that is very interesting. And it looks like you get plenty of uh, you know commentaries and special features as well. I don't know. That doesn't sound like a recipe for a good movie but it sounds like an interesting part of history for sure uh so yeah the zodiac killer let me know if you're interested in picking that one up and i already went over the justice ninja society uh it looks like you have a vinyl soundtrack more protector cases so i think i i think i covered everything all 16 titles right here guys doesn't look like as of right now all these ran, went up at noon today it doesn't look like anything is sold out. Doesn't look like anything's sold out yet. So you, it looks like you have plenty of time. This vinyl one, I'm actually surprised that's not lower because vinyl is pretty hot right now. Six seventy six left on that one. But all right, guys, look, I've been I've been talking about Vinegar Syndrome and their partner labels long enough. I hope you guys you know enjoyed this video. I do like to dive into Vinegar Syndrome every month. I've just been getting more into this label. 
Uh, stay tuned to see what I what I actually picked up from this sale. I've got some stuff that I'm interested in for sure that I'm gonna check out when I when I end this video. But thank y'all for watching. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on those bell notifications for all future videos and reviews and physical media content. And I will see you guys later. Thank you.